Conventional medical wisdom has always assumed the presence of pets can put children at a higher risk for developing allergies, but more and more evidence is proving the opposite may be true. Well, pet lover and mom-to-be Megan Pringle joins us live this morning via Skype with a friend in hand. Now, this is Roxy, Megan. Where is, Propo this? Where is Proposition <laughs> Joe? He's sleeping. He can't be bothered. <laughs> he, he's, he limits his airtime. But Charlie, you know, I talk about our dogs a lot. They have been our babies for years. And as we await for our new babies to arrive, we're certainly full of worry. And I have expressed to you before, a lot of this worry comes from, of course, the pets. And a lot of soon-to-be moms have expressed this kind of concern when it comes to pets, especially regarding allergies, because there's this long thought there that they worry that their babies may be allergic to their pets. However, a new study suggests that pets could actually protect some babies from developing allergies later in life. So this is good news. In the study, researchers contacted 18-year-olds to see if they had grown up in a home with a cat or a dog, and then they tested them to see if they had any allergic symptoms when exposed to animals. So they found that boys who lived in a home with an indoor dog during the first year of life had half the risk of being allergic to dogs at the age of 18, plus both boys and girls who had a cat during their first year of life, they had a decreased risk of being allergic to cats at the age of 18. So this is all very good news, Charlie, because I know a lot of parents stress about the adjustment of a baby and a pet, but they say when it comes to allergies, you really don't need to worry. And another thing that I read that was pretty interesting, Charlie, is that your baby right now can hear all sorts of sounds. So oh, wow. if you have a dog that barks a lot, like Roxy over there, no. the baby will be used to it. So it's not going to be a big concern. At least I'm hoping. <laughs> all right. Megan Pringle joining us live as she does every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You doing okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of over this, this stage. I'd like to, I'd like to meet the twins. <laughs> so, um, you know, we'll see. It's, it's getting to be, it's gone from being uncomfortable to actually kind of painful. So, but any day now, hopefully, right. you know, hopefully today. <laughs> All right, Megan, thanks a lot. We'll see you come Wednesday. Of course, babies permitting. Yes, absolutely. They're in charge. All right, time now for checking the forecast.